Well, sir. Well, sir. Frankly, Ostrov is a clothing optional town under my mayorship, so you can have all 530 units of clothing. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Ostrov, where I've made a few small changes around the place, mostly in what we're holding on to. A few comments had come in concerning us running out of food all the time and said, hey, why don't you go back and check what you're storing in your trading post and your river pr trading post? Maybe you're storing too much stuff and then the villagers aren't getting it for themselves because it's all sitting in the trading post and the villagers are too dumb to go over to the trading post and get a potato if they want to. So I spent some time before I started recording just going through the trading post and the river trading post, making some adjustments. So we have much more, I think, reasonable amounts to keep in the trading post at all times. A sunflower oil took a whole decimal point off of that. 2,000 down to 200. The rest of the sunflower oil is for us. I don't really know that we use it, but we'll, we'll have it anyway. Leather I dropped down, textiles I dropped down, shoes I dropped way down, and then I went over and did the same thing in the river trading post, which largely had many of the same things, but not a lot. The only things I kept high were bark, charcoal, and firewood. First of all, not many traders are interested in buying that. Secondly, it's wicked easy to make. We can make charcoal like nothing. I am not worried about running out of charcoal anytime in the near future. Next thing I want to address is the cows. Now, I've said for a few parts now that the cows are probably the best off creatures, man or beast, in the entire village. They're the ones who actually have the largest supply of food. We still have something like... 6,000 units of hay that does not go off, does not spoil. So the cows are doing great. They don't even touch the hay in the summertime because they're out in the pasture fields. So I think for a couple of reasons, we're going to bump up the number of cows that we allow ourselves to have from 5 to 10. So we can have 10 cows kicking around. Now that's going to really reduce those air quotes food stocks that we have right now. But Right outside the door is thousands of units of hay that they can bring in to eat in the winter, and then in the regular months, they can just eat outside. This is going to do two things, I hope. Well, it will, but I hope it's going to work out the way I want. One, we're going to have a lot more hides because we're going to be generating a lot more cows, and cow number 11 is going to be leather. Now, we're going to generate a lot more cows because we're going to have 10 cows. 10 cows is going to make a lot more new cows than 5 cows will. It'll also help us to get more oxen under control. If we make a cow into an ox, a bull rather, into an ox, then it is no longer breedable. It can't breed with a girl cow and make more cows. But if we've got 10 cows, I'm probably going to have some spares that I can make into oxen. That's going to mean the fields get plowed better, and that's going to mean we have more yield when harvest season comes around. These are all decent ideas. Whether they're going to work out in execution, only Ostriv knows for sure. Next thing I wanted to address was the batch sizes in many of the production buildings that we've got. Now, we went through and dropped these numbers radically. So here's what was happening. Mr. Tannery Dude, Mr. Leathermaker, had a batch size of, I think it was 500 or something like that. And he was sitting there for actual game years, waiting to accumulate enough resources to make that batch size. When we dropped that down to 96... Well, all of a sudden, he has all the resources he needs, and he's off and running. And if he's making leather, that means the shoemakers can make shoes. It's great. And the saddlery guy can make saddles. We'll have our horses up and running. A commenter came through and said, well, that worked pretty well. Why don't you do that even more? Drop it down even further. And that means the guy is going to be effectively constantly working. He'll constantly pr be producing a little bit of leather instead of a lot of leather, but he'll be producing it all the time. And that means everyone else, the saddlery, the shoemaker, all the guys who rely on leather can also be working a little bit at a time. So I'm going to take this down as close to 50 as... Oh, perfect. Right there. 50. That is your new batch size now. Now I'm wondering if dropping that 
it's going to take him quicker to produce it. He'll be able to do it faster because he's tanning till May. This thing takes him like six months to do. So I'm wondering if we say, hey, it's okay if you give us less than last time. It might sort of quicken up the the time to the batch. Anyway, shoemaker dude, you're down to 110 shoes. How about we said even less? How about we said, uh, oh, wow, nailed it on 50 again. Excellent. So you only need to make 50 shoes. I have no idea if that's 50 shoes or 25 pairs of shoes. Don't know, don't care. You need some more leather, but good news, Sparky. The tannery guy should be churning through that a little quicker for you. Over in the oil workshop, let's do the same, because we've always had a hard time getting this up and running. The batch just seems to be too big. So how about we said, I don't know, can you want to get me, let me nail it on 100 there? No, no, not this lucky this time. Okay, 103. I want you to make 103 units of sunflower oil. Saddlery. Uh, okay, 10 is a pretty, pretty low number. I'm going to keep it at 10. 10 seems very low. 10 is a very, very small number compared to other numbers that we deal with around here. And the fishing dock that does dried fish, let's just jack that right down. That was up to like a thousand. How about we said 145? Because you rely on salt. And let's have you... I feel like I've got a fishing dock that's already producing only dried fish. I, I feel this. There it is. Okay. And you're also jacked way up. Okay. I only want 160 dried fish from you now. Just 160 because you rely on salt. And if you don't have salt, you're not going to do anything. Despite having 2,467 fish on hand, you've only got 10 units of salt. So why don't you see if dropping that down, you can actually get some dried fish on tack here. Now you, you're producing nothing at all. Okay, that's fine. I actually only want you to produce, I guess, wet fish, and you don't have any workers. Yeah, we did have a little bit of an exodus last time in, in Austria. A little bit of an exodus. Had some people moving out. Couldn't quite keep them all fed. Uh, stone quarry, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got way too much stuff going on here. Why don't you only try and do... Tell you what, I'm going to give you a break. You only need to haul 2,300 stones out of here before you're, I guess, done with things. You got one worker, but not any others. I relocated 10 hatchlings from this coop over here over to this one. This was the last one that didn't have any chickens in it after the um, rather catastrophic chicken die-off that we had a while ago, where we went from four full coops of chickens down to two solitary chickens. But they are building back up. All the coops are now stocked in fact, the, the hatchlings have already made it over here. Uh, let's get, ooh, yeah, we don't have a limit on that. How about we went back to 15? So chicken number 16 is chicken nuggets. That's our tradition around here. Let me make sure, speaking of switching bars and shifting bars, make sure everyone else, you're up to 20 for whole adult chickens. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you can, chicken 21 can be chicken nuggets around here. What do we got going on over here? Chicken 21. How about you were chicken 17? We'll mix it up a little bit. Well, spring is here and the cows are already getting frisky. After we moved that from five to 10, now we've got six cows and we did not pull the sixth cow out to be slaughtered. So we have a newborn girl cow. That's fine. That's totally fine. Hopefully we'll get some more boy cows and they can kind of, you know, do things that cows do in the middle of the night and we'll get up to 10 cows. When we get, oh, I don't know, seven, eight, nine cows, I'll designate one of the boy cows as an ox. I just want to see how many more bulls we're going to get as newborns before I commit to that. The plowing is going on. Things are being plowed. Food is being made. Now this farm over here... There's a couple of crops in here, but it is going to be primarily fallow. A lot of these soils were exhausted just due to, um, well, we're not going to name names, but we'll call it t poor town mismanagement. We'll just leave it at that. Oh, hang on. There's a messenger. Now, do you actually have anything I want? And do I have anything you want? Well, I can shave off 200 units of sunflower oil that we've got kicking around and not really using for anything. We're going to get a whole whopping 36 for that. Yay. Thanks. Uh, have we made any clothes yet? No, we have not. And I'm sure we, well, I don't think we're storing salo or flour in our, in our export warehouses because, you know, that's food. We want that for ourselves. I will take, speaking of dried fish, I will take 
a little bit of salt off of you. I have no intentions of paying for it. I want to be very, very clear about this. Not one single intention of actually giving you any money for this, but I am going to, uh, air quotes, purchase that salt from you. Because not only do the dried fish guys use it, but the tannery uses it. So it'd be nice if we had some of that on hand. I'm going to bump up the limit on the smithy for metal parts because we have more production facilities that are using metal parts right now. The carpentry guy needs it to make the ox plows, and the saddlery guy needs it to make horse tack. We really haven't used those before, but now we're getting into some territory where we actually need those being made. Uh, go back to that. How much iron did we have kicking along? 382. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not completely terrible. I, I can pretty much live with that. We may steal some more later from a neighboring town. We'll see. We'll see. So it looks like we have food and jobs available for migration, but we're not getting any because we don't have any houses. Excellent. That all kind of goes along with my plan, actually. Where is the town going to expand to that we could have some more houses kicking along in here? I'm feeling kind of over in this direction feeling in this direction. Now, we don't have really any markets over there, and it is getting a little bit far away. It's not crazy far away, but it's a little bit far away. There is a well a lot closer, so they have access to water. Instead of chit-chatting about it, let's actually put down a house. Uh, would you like to live? It's occupied. Oh, I see, because I've got the front door facing the wrong way. Okay, that's fine. Um, why don't you live sort of there? Sort of there. That's one house. And then I'd like to see maybe another around here somewhere. How about there was one? It's going to take them a while because they're going to have to chop all these trees down. But how about there was another one right here? It's going to take them ages. Probably be deep winter before they get that done. So there's two more houses right there. And let's go ahead and put up a market. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. I'm not even sure if we got anyone to work in it yet. Do we have any employees for this? Okay, yeah, somebody signed right up. So how about in here, there was, ooh, chicken eggs, always a favorite, and chicken meat. We should hopefully be generating that more plentifully now. And maybe some potatoes. Everybody loves potatoes. And what else would be good for food? How about just some flour? Just some flour. That reminds me, let me just kick back to the windmill for a second. Okay. Okay. You are, you are doing what you need to do, but you're not taking all the wheat to do it like you used to. Excellent. Good. And they're working on this house and then they'll, well, they'll start chopping some trees down for the next one. Actually, it looks like somebody's already been over there to chop something. Something's come down. So good. Excellent. Well done, guys. Maybe it's the forestry. Oh, it's the forestry department that comes in to chop the trees first and then the builders come in. Oh, good. That'll move a lot quicker then. Excellent. So we chit-chatted in the last one about what is what is the goal here? What is the end of Ostrov? Because Ostrov can't go on forever. It, it can't be on the channel till the end of time. And this game could theoretically go on forever. There's no real crisis or final moment. There's no end game here that I know of. You just sort of keep plugging along. And many comments came back. Most of them had to do with our debt, which is now ooh, hovering close to 12,000 gold. We are 12,000 gold in the hole. And despite me warning against it, many people said, hey, why don't you try and get out of debt and make a profit? To which I heartily reply, no, we're not doing that. Two reasons. One, that could take me real years. We just saw what I made for a few units of sunflower oil. It's a pittance. It's a pittance. I, I, clothing may do better. Shoes may do better. That's great. But it's, it's drops in the 12,000 gold bucket is what it is. Bigger reason, and we've chatted about this before, Ostrid doesn't give me any incentive to get out of debt. There's no win if I get out of debt before, besides saying, I got out of debt. Ostrov offers me no consequences for being in debt. Hopefully, and seeing as we're talking about it, hopefully that's something that gets updated later. There might be something where the town just stops, where there's a big end game thing that says, sorry, you're 5,000 in debt. Your game of Ostrov is over now. But right now, at this stage of the development, there are zero consequences for me being in debt. So there's no incentive for me to be out of debt. 
I'll just keep stealing from the neighbors. It's working out just fine. So I think with all of that being said, I'm going with a population goal. I'm going with when we have 150 people, 150. So we need 50% more than we have right now. That's not a small jump. That is not a small goal to get 50% more people living here than we have right now. When we get to 150 people, Ostrov is over at that point. I want us to have a goal. I want us to have an end. I want us to be able to say we did it in some way or another. Speaking of stealing from the neighbors, another messenger just showed up here. I don't think we've produced any of the things that you need, sir. Oh, I tell a lie. We've produced 530 units of clothing. Okay. All right. Getting the production buildings working a little bit but constantly is certainly a heck of a lot better than asking them to do a lot and they never do it. Well, sir. Well, sir. Frankly, Ostrov is a clothing optional town under my mayorship, so you can have all 530 units of clothing. Now, see, here's my point. Here's my point right here. 530 units of clothing. But my net profit on that? 132 gold and a half. 132. For, it, it's 20, it's, it's a quarter of a gold per unit. Oh, no, I, I lost the messenger. I lost the messenger. I didn't even sell the clothes. Oh, God. It's all gone horribly wrong. Well, good news, bad news then. Swings and roundabouts, as the kids say these days. We've made a lot of clothes. It's just they're not worth anything. They're worth a quarter of a gold each. Are they terrible clothes? Are you making just awful, awful clothing over here? You don't have any clothes for production. You have no, no textile at this point. That's fine. Good job on the 530, though. I'm sorry to say that your work is valueless. It's absolutely nothing. It's hardly worth you even getting up in the morning. Well, another messenger just tooled by, too, and it looks like we did actually make that deal. I see we have no clothes in our export stock, so I must have just caught that guy in the way out the door saying, Hey, hey, don't forget to take your boxes of really, really valueless clothes on the way out that you paid me one quarter of a gold per unit for. Ah, uh, shoes. We done any of those? Yeah, we've done some shoes. Done some shoes. Yep. Uh, those are worth 0 0.32 gold per unit. So my 50 shoes that I have spent years putting the production facilities together for are netting us a grand total of 16 gold. Well, there you go. There you go. You take those 50 shoes, or 25 pairs of shoes, I, I don't know, and you go off to wherever it is you think you live around here, and you'll be walking spry in your new shoes. Break them in first, you'll get blisters. I am going to steal all of your iron, and I'm going to steal, oh, I don't know, something else. I, I, You just annoy me that you paid so little for my shoes that it's taken me so long to produce that I'm going to steal things from you. I am going to steal, I don't know, 500 dried fish just because you've not made my day. Well, they finished the house in the woods over here, and I'm actually going to get another one outlined right over here just because I want the houses to kind of push back towards the center of town closer to the well, closer to the new market, closer to the other markets. I just think that's a good idea rather than them having being on the outskirts of town. So when then they get that fleshed out here, which they're, wow, they're just cruising through that. Good job, forestry department over there. That's three new houses. We haven't had anyone new move in yet. Still 100 people. But harvest season is here. The wheat is all nice and ripened, so that should be a good variety of food around here, which is probably what's holding us up right now. I see a lot of people whinging about variety. Not quantity, they are eating, they're just not eating exactly what they want to eat. So hopefully when the harvest comes in, we might get some immigration coming in as we celebrate our enormous food variety, I guess. Oh, and I never checked in on leather maker guy over here, tannery dude. He should have been long done. Yeah, okay. He's gathering raw materials for the next batch of 50, which isn't coming in yet. Probably doesn't have any hides because of the upping the quantity on the cows. We're not slaughtering cows. That will slow down the leather production. How many? Oh, wow. We're, we're not messing around with cows. Okay, we are not messing around with cows here. That's, that's some cows. I'd like a couple more bulls. I wouldn't, I'd, even one more bull would be great. Then I could designate another bull as oxen, probably the oldest one. That would be reasonably smart. You know what we're going to do? 
because nobody seems to know in Austria of how long animals live, I'm going to unprotect the oldest female cow, and I'm going to protect one of the younger ones. And this, you know, eventually will be our new breeding stock. And I'll probably do exactly the same thing with one of the older bulls. We'll kind of see how that goes. But I want to make sure we're not accidentally stuck. Are you are you dead now? Yeah, you're, you're kind of dead, aren't you? Why don't you go to fallow? That's fine. You have a good day being fallow. I want to make sure we're not accidentally stuck with a single gender cow shed where we can't, you know, biologically produce more animals. So might swap those in and out as time goes by. And for absolutely, positively no reason, I'm putting a market stall over here. I just think it looks nice next to the town hall. It just kind of makes sense. It almost looks like a little information booth about the town, except it's going to sell fish. So it's, it's an information booth largely about fish, largely, largely fish. I think we still have some reserve honey kicking around. We may as well get that in there. Oh, and pork. I, I should check on the pigs. I haven't checked on the pigs. Speaking of pork, we'll put salo in there too. How are my pigs doing? These guys are really largely self-sufficient at this point. However, however, oh, hang on, slow it down. There's another messenger to steal stuff from. Okie doke. What you got, Sparky? Ah, I now have a thousand units of sunflower oil. Even if I sell the max this guy wants, 800 of them, still only 144. It's just, here's what this ultimately boils down to. Here is my... Not, it won't be, it won't be, trust me. But here's what I believe is my final word on our debt and Ostrov and why I'm not getting out of debt. Ostrov isn't a trading game. Ostrov is not a trading game. It kind of feels like it might be, but it's not. There's no real incentive for me to produce stuff and sell it. It's just not paying the bills. So I, again... There's no incentive for me to try and get out of debt because Ostrov is not a trading game. It might be at some point, but this is not what I would expect from a trading game. That's a bit of a rant, and I apologize for that. But that's not a lot of money for a lot of sunflower oil. It's really not. What else have we produced that I might be able to get rid of? I got 20 pieces of clothing. Yeah, you can have um, you can have 20 pieces of clothing. Again, 0.25 gold. I'm making 5 gold on this. Uh, go ahead and, and, and take that. I'm not really selling you anything else. I will steal stuff from you, though. I'm, I might just flat out steal all your nails. That's going to save me a lot of time on iron and energy in nails. Yeah, there we go. I'm stealing your nails. What are you going to do about it? And it occurs to me now I didn't open up a spot for a worker over there. A guy's taking it. That's basically okay. Basically okay. Okay, back to the pigs and the same issue with the cows, which is I should unprotect the older boar and we still have a three-year-old boar that's being protected that's that's pretty young i'm pretty okay with that and we have two female pigs who are not young pigs but they're they're there they're there you know what they're there we'll protect those guys too everyone else can go to slaughter when we get some more girl pigs up past the one year mark We'll look at protecting one or two of those. And I think this limit of five is actually working out pretty well. We're really just keeping breeding stock. And then everything else, once it hits that one year point, goes to slaughter. So I'm pretty comfortable with five on there. The one thing I do want is more cows, and more importantly, more cows to make more cows. So we can make more leather, etc., etc., etc. And now that I stole all of those nails, now that I've done that, I might put another bridge up. I was going to do it in the last one, and then I kind of put it in the in the middle of a field. But that, it's fine. It's fine. It, it's, it's decorative. It's a decorative bridge at this point. So if I wanted to bring you, can't build on water. Okay. I would like, can I bring you, maybe start you over here? There we go. Fuss with it a little bit, and it gets in there. Okay, I want you to go right by that path. There we go. So what I might do, I might have a little bit of an extension of the town over here. And mostly I just like building the bridges. I just like the bridges. The bridges are very, very cool. And I did steal all of those nails. So I've got plenty of nails to do it. Speaking of building stuff, how's the second forestry department doing? That's a village house. That's a lime works. There's the forestry right there. What are your limits at? And does it really matter? 
Does it really matter? You don't make a lot of bark, but I don't need a lot of bark. You make plenty of everything else. Yeah, I don't feel any specific need to fuss with the forestry department. I think they'll do just fine on both of them. Well, the tailor is back in business. I see she is making some clothes, so textile is obviously running there. That's that's good for my 0.25 per unit that I get for that. I'll be very, very excited when the next messenger comes by and we sell him discount clothing. They're still working on this house over here. It has taken them a while. They've got a lot of trees to chop down. How's my new bridge coming, kids? How are we doing over here? Do we have, uh, no, still some resources to come in. 19,000 pieces of wood. Get at it, forestry departments. Get at it. Oh, and we've got a new horse. The horses have been breeding. I haven't really been paying attention to you guys. Well done. Well done, folks. Good job over there. We've already got a one-year-old new horse. Well, Spiffy, we should probably put a cart on you of some sort. That was the whole point of doing this. Whole point. I'm also going to open up a new job just because I'm hyper concerned about the animals getting fed after the in. Well, I was going to say incident. Let's say incidents with the various livestock over the life of Ostrov here. The cows died twice, had some problems with the pigs. Chickens died many, many, many times. I am going to say that you, you, the new one year old female, can be trained as a draft animal. A oh, horse needs to be at least two years old. Okay. I, I don't know if this works like the cows, where if I set you to a job, you're not available for breeding. Now, unlike the cows, I don't know if they take bits off of you to ensure that. I have no idea. But how about we said the female... Oh, I need four horseshoes and one tack. Okay, I've got one horseshoe. Can the horse just limp? Well, if we only need one tack for a horse, there's no reason we need to be producing ten. Ten seems like a very small number, but it's actually much larger if we're talking about horse tack, apparently. So why don't you... You know what? Why don't you just make one at a time? Make. I only need one. Just make one at a time, and then let me know when you're done. Oh, the bridge is going up, which is excellent. I want to do, want to want to try a couple of things over here. And I say try, I'm not really trying at all. I'm I'm flat out doing it. I'm gonna get a house over here. I get a house if I could get that say right, right by the bridge. Oh, that's gonna. I'd love to live there. I wouldn't really, but but I'd love. To, oh, it's too uneven. Okay, all right. Back it up. Back it up here. Then that's fine. We'll. Pop that up there. I'll figure out something that might want to live down there. Put that down there. Now, this is going to be really out of the way. But I'm hoping to kind of link these two areas together. I'm going to put up... This doesn't make a lick of sense. I'm mostly doing this for the job opportunities. But I'm going to put up a small farm. Not a huge farm. Because I'm pretty confident we don't have the population to do that. But I'm going to put up just a fall, small farm... Just because I think it's fun. That's all. I just think it's fun. Really, this can live right here. And when you get that done, I might outline just maybe one or two fields for it. Everyone's whining about food variety. You're getting fed. Just shut up. Ah, we made some more sunflower oil apparently somewhere. So I'll, um, I'll shave off a little bit of that. I'll, I'll make an effort. Ooh, 36. 0.18 per unit. Thank you for stopping by. Did we make any more clothes? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, that's that's fine. I don't really want anything from you at this point. Um, what was my next move here? I, I had an idea, and then, then I didn't because I forgot about it. It was something over in this direction, I feel. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was something over in this direction. Oh, it was cows again. Right, it was cows. I'm always checking in on the cows. I like my cows. They're good. I I might mess with this number 10 again. Because Leather Guy's got no leather. And he's not going to for a while. The cows don't breed very rapidly. I mean, faster than I thought, to be sure. But not very rapidly. Got one ox there. So how many do I have? Three, six, seven cows. Okay. Okay. What if we said seven cows is our limit? That's it. Cow number eight can be steaks and leather. And then I'll figure out 
how and whom I'm going to protect and who I'm not. And as we're in a little bit of a tick of shaving down numbers, I'm going to shave down how much food is being stored in the chicken coops. Because they don't eat that much. They don't really eat that much. So what if instead of 400 units of buckwheat, there was only 100? That's still going to keep them going for years. But I just really put out 900 units of other food that the people could be eating. And I'm going to apply that from all the chicken coops around there. There is a messenger showing up. What do you got, Sparky? What do you got? I could just flat out buy some cows, but that seems counterproductive, really. I could buy some leather. That would kickstart things around here. Did I make any more clothes yet? I did. I did. Okay, well, you know what? You can have these 60 clothes. Ooh, 15 gold. Okay, yeah, we're going to be uh we're going to be out of this 12,800 and some odd gold debt in no time. And somebody in the comments pointed out that I never built the large church. I, I did want to make sure that we had pretty much built everything in Ostriv before we closed out Ostriv. Somebody said, hey, you never made the large church, which we don't need. R religion is completely unimportant to our villagers at this time. It will be in a future update. But I'm going to go ahead and set up a new church of the even holier potato right over by this new farm that is plugging along nicely. Yeah, they almost have everything in there. Not really sure. I don't think that's going to be open for business for the, this growing season, but we can get something kicking along for later. Oh, excellent. We have a newborn bull. We have a newborn bull. That is good. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So we have two very young bulls now. Well, unfortunately, Mr. Older Bull, they're, um, somebody's going to come along and they're going to have a, uh, a sharp implement and they are going to uh, trim, trim bits of you off. I have no control over this. I'm very, very sorry. But you are now an ox. That will help us get our fields plowed better. Okay, new house over here. Family has already moved in. New farm over here. I'm not going to go... I don't want lots of little fields. I really like to have just like one big field and then maybe a smaller one of something. So get that to go, looks like 50 is the max on this. How are you going to, there we go, 50 by 50, and then, oh, oh, a little bit too long, a little bit too long. Is the whole thing too long? No. Okay, all right, I'll have to do it again. Hang on. And as I kind of expected, we don't even have any people to work here at this point. Our population is a little low, but I'm going to open it up anyway. One worker just showed up. I'll open up the position of a manager. This is just going to be wheat, and then I want to do one more potatoes. That's it. That's it. Just a little bit more food. I'm not going to overtax the farm. I'm not going to ask them to do more than they can handle. We're just going to do a couple of fields. It's active. It's plowed. They're actually sowing it, which is good. I didn't think we'd be able to get this up and running for this season, but, you know, here we are. So if we get this to go like that and that, there we go. Not activated. You can be potatoes because literally everybody likes potatoes and activate that. All right. I am going to order you a plow. Don't know if you're getting one. We'll see. I'm not really sure on that. But you've got three workers, a manager, and one laborer. And we are... We've skipped plowing, of course. Are we, in fact, sowing? Not enough adult oxen. Yeah, we're, we're all kind of working on that. Oh, check it out. We've got a horse and cart now. We've got a horse and cart. One of our horses trained to ride a cart or pull a cart or whatever it is horses do these days is very awkwardly clipping through this fence to drive this family. Where are you going? What are you actually doing? I would like to show your path, please. Where are you? Oh, you're going over here. Oh, excellent. You probably live there. Okay. Well, you, how, how did you get the horse and cart? That's what I'd like to know. Is it like a cab? Can you just order it in town? Like, hey, I'm going to use the horse and cart for the next hour. Or do you own the horse and cart? I don't think you do. I think it's probably the former and not the latter. Have we made any other new horses that I should be aware of? Where are my horses? There they are. There they are. And even though, oh, wait, we did. We did. We've made another horse. Oh, very, very good, team. Well done, kids. 
Excellent. Good job with the horse breeding. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Ostriv for today. The goal proceeds. 150 is the target. 116 is where we're at now after building all those new houses, getting some crops in, and kind of doing a little bit of basic expansion. What is your problem over here? What What is your deal? Supply for oxen is disabled. Oh, dear God. Uh, make, make sure the oxen are being fed at all times. We have a problem with that around here. You're new in town. You probably didn't know that. We will pick up some more ox, uh, oxen. We'll pick up some more ostriv next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Some more of this regular nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.